Uh, hello, world. What's up? Welcome to Build. I'm your host, Matt Forte, man. We're here live at the Build Studio in New York City. Our first guest starred for three seasons as Alex Alvarez in the beloved Netflix original One Day at a Time. But starting tomorrow, that's right, for Easter, you can catch him in the new film Breakthrough, based on the inspirational true story of one mother's unfaltering love in the face of impossible odds. He is a supremely talented dude. I'm super excited he's here. The great Marcel Ruiz is in the building. How we feel about that? I'm excited. Are you excited? You better be. They're excited. I'm excited. So I'm hoping you at home are excited as well. We're going to bring them out uh, in just a moment. But first, I believe we have a trailer for the flick. So let's go ahead and run that clip. Rise and shine. Breakfast is ready in 10 minutes. And don't make me come back up there. This is our town. It's a close-knit community, the kind of place where everyone knows everyone. Hi, Miss J. Hey, how are you girls? And we're always there for each other. Nice sermon, Pastor. What do you guys have on for the rest of the day? Well, John has a basketball game. Yeah, I've seen this guy hoop it up around here. This kid is so lit. Text your mom tomorrow and tell her when and where to pick you up. And uh, don't do anything stupid. Love you guys. <laughs> Boys, get off the ice! We're training for the Olympics, sir! Cindy! God! He's been underwater for more than 15 minutes. It's gonna be a recovery, not a rescue. I got something. We got him! We've done everything medically possible. There's nothing more we can do. <laughs> no. Please, God. Send. Your Holy Spirit to save my son. A 14 year old St. Charles boy who spent 15 minutes trapped underwater is continuing to fight for his life. I don't believe John will survive the night. You don't know my son. He is a fighter. So I need you to be the best for John, and you just let God do the rest. You are my pride and joy. I can't wait to see you shoot those baskets and run up and down the court again. The Smith family asked for one thing. Please pray for John. In the water that day, I was ready to give up. But then I hear this voice telling me, go back. Either I'm nuts or God's talking to you. But I don't believe in God. I believe, but maybe that only goes so far with something like this. I'm your pastor. I'm supposed to walk alongside you for as long as it takes. Did you see the Facebook page? It's gone viral. Call me. I hope he's gonna be okay. We're not gonna get through this alone. Whatever you have for me, for Brian, for John, I surrender. Oh, let me get an absurd amount of noise for the great Marcel Ruiz right here. Come on, everybody. Uh, man, first of all, thanks so much for being here, Marcel. How are you doing, man? How's life right now? I'm doing good. Yeah. Um, I'm sick because of, not sick like, oh, sick of it, but. <laughs> I'm sick of it. <laughs> no, of course not. Um, I'm like sick because I haven't like stopped like traveling and, and, and working for the movie, but it's, it's an amazing experience through. and I. I can't wait for it to come out already tomorrow. So that's amazing. It's really exciting, man. It's I can't imagine uh, how how you feel aside from being sick. But the excitement, <laughs> the excitement of that. Here we are. We're on the cusp. People are going to get to see this incredible film that you got to work on. I'm excited to talk about the whole process and everything that went into it. Uh, first and foremost, I was looking. You just recently had a little premiere, right? You guys did a premiere for this. Yeah, yeah. That must did. have been cool. That must have been a fun experience. That was awesome because it's like. I mean, we did a couple premieres, right? Um, for this movie, we were we were traveling. We went to they they did four. I went to I went to three of those four because they did one in Dallas yeah. too. Um, but they did one in St. Louis, which is where this story happened, and it's the hometown of the family. So that was amazing because I got to meet everyone that's the characters are in the movie. They exist in real life. Wow. So just meeting them is crazy, and like all the doctors that were part of this story, that was amazing and so powerful. We were we went to the actual lake where it happened, and wow. John was right next to me. He was like, "Yeah, that's that's where it happened," and we took some pictures and they did a whole ceremony. So that was really powerful. And then we did one in Puerto Rico, which was also amazing because that's where I'm from and that's my hometown. So everyone that was there was so supportive, and and my whole family and friends went. So it's just. 
everywhere that that I watched the movie or, or every premiere that we did, the experience was different. And like watching the movie in each different place, it felt like a different movie each time. And then like the last premiere we did was now in LA, which was like the final official one. And that's like literally everyone went. And it was just amazing seeing everyone after so long because most of the kids that are my friends in the movie, they live in Canada. Yeah. So like I never get to see them and they're like, we're friends for life now, so we saw each other, we hung out, and it was amazing. We laughed, and I mean, the movie was amazing. Like to hear the, uh, it was like the first time I saw it with like an actual audience. Well, that so, was going to be one yeah. of the questions, right? Because not, this is your this is your first like feature film, yeah. right? So first of all, congratulations. Thank That's you. That's huge, uh, and, and you're you're phenomenal. You do a great job. Thank so you should be super proud, man. Um, but second of all, that means too. I would imagine it's your first time seeing your face on a giant screen with a bunch of other people in the room. Kinda, yeah. Is that weird for you at all? Did that take a second for you to adjust to that? Or were you have you kind of been cool with that this whole it's, time? It's it was weird like the first time just because I mean I was scared of of watching it just because I didn't know how it came out. You know, I, I even though I did all of those scenes, I was like still I'm gonna when I watched the the finished like final version, I still don't know how how I did. Um, but I was I was super proud of, of everyone's work and my work, so that was amazing. And and yeah, it's weird seeing me myself dead. Like it's just like super pale, pale, and it's it's weird. But it, <laughs> it was it was funny that everyone around me was crying, and I was just like the only one not crying, just because I went through all of that. Yeah, and it was just it. like yeah. yeah, that was just acting when I think of it. Yeah, yeah. So, but but it's amazing to to see how how the audience has reacted to the to the story and just about people looking at the trailer they already start crying so that's amazing for sure yeah people are uh, very emotionally moved by the story by the trailer by the film itself I, I imagine once it's out tomorrow um, but were there were there moments when you're watching it with the crowd and stuff like that certain uh, reactions you thought you would get out of the crowd certain reactions that surprised you were they crying at things you didn't think they would cry at and stuff like that yeah. like that's got to be a trip to sit there and watch yeah that yeah yeah because yeah. like sometimes no when we when we did the premiere in LA, um, I had the director right behind me. And that was like pretty cool just to see her reaction yeah. um, to the audience because the audience there was really loud, like in the, our last premiere. They were just like screaming at everything. They were crying, clapping every like two scenes. So some things that I didn't think were gonna like happen from the audience was, it was they were laughing a lot. Yeah. Like there's a, a couple of funny parts in the movie, which is cool. I mean, in such a dramatic and, and, and yeah. sad, um, moments of the story to just laugh and, and have fun. And that's the cool thing about the movie and what the, this family showed me is just to, to find the happy moments and, and sad parts of life. But, but yeah, they, I mean, Topher Grace is amazingly funny, so yeah, he's he really makes a good job out of that. Everybody's great in it, man. It's a, it's a solid cast. Uh, how, how did this all start? How did you, how'd you get involved with Breakthrough? Did you have to audition? Do you, what, what was the process like? How did this all come together for you, man? It was like the hardest audition process I've ever done for anything. Um, it was seven auditions. Seven? Total. Wow. And it was... And the first audition was the worst audition I've ever done for anything in my life. What I swear. <laughs> Why was it the worst? You, I couldn't have been that bad. You got the movie. <laughs> okay, so, like, I literally, like, I, I don't know. I walked in, um, but I didn't know so much about the story because I feel like it's such a, a story that has so many aspects to it and, and, and such sure. a big process that, for me, I feel like, I mean, you have to read the whole script or see it in a movie and then really talk to the, the real family to understand it. Um, since so many people and so many things happened to, to create this miracle. So, I mean, I didn't understand it. I didn't know it was, it was based on a true story. Yeah. So I, I didn't really feel the character that first time and I didn't even know my lines. So they were like, okay. Uh, <laughs> so um, wait, what, did, what was your plan? You wanna, <laughs> uh, my plan was to just go in and then go home and sleep. Um, <laughs> but, but the people were like, okay, um, that was good. We liked it. But can you, like, come back next week and learn your lines? And I'm like, next week, that's not happening, probably. So they never called me. Like, two months passed. And I'm like, yeah, that, that didn't happen. And then they, they called me. And then they're like, we want you to do another audition. And so that was better because I got to read the script. I got to understand the character um, and the family and then read the book. So, so that made it more, You're for more me, prepared. made it more natu yeah, natural yeah. And, and get more into the character. Um, and so each, each audition got better and better, but like the last two auditions that they like flew me to Canada because that's where we were shooting. And so that was crazy because it was like Winnipeg, Canada, and that's like in the middle of nowhere. Um, and then on top of that, doing an audition there just for one night, that was crazy. And then we came back, um, and the last audition I did was with Chrissy Metz. So 
for me that was the best one and and i mean we just connected since since we met um and i feel like that's that's why this our relationship in the movie is so real and that's why even the real family and, and joy smith and, and john smith when they when they see our relationship in the movie they're like oh my god that's how we really are in real life and it, it seems so real it seems like we're staring at a mirror or we're seeing our story happen again so it's probably because we have such a great chemistry and we're always laughing and having fun. It's pretty amazing, man. Uh, I can't believe that. Uh, seven auditions, you did, and you went in. Did, are the learning lines and stuff like that, is that a hard thing for you to do? Do you struggle with that still? No. Um, you just weren't, you just didn't know what the what the uh, audition was for. You <laughs> didn't know. Usually, like, for auditions, like, I won't learn lines. I'll do it, like, because um, for the first audition, it's, you know, me and just, like, a camera. Yeah, they're but just kind of feeling you out. And yeah, it. like, I'll, I'll probably, like, learn lines if I go to an audition with the, di the director. Um, but I feel like, since I was on the show one day at a time, yeah. um, we rehearsed that kind of, like, theater. And I've never, like, done theater before, but it was rehearsals the whole week. And it would be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday rehearsals, and then just shoot one day Friday. Yeah. So it was one episode a week. And for me, it was... To learn a whole script in, in a week, that really helped me to learn my lines because it wasn't like I would sit down and, yeah. and go to my room and learn lines. It was just like, oh, I, I rehearsed it so many times that I now know them. So that's how it was in, in Breakthrough. How, how deep into the process did you get on Breakthrough before they told you that Steph Curry was executive producer <laughs> on it? <clears throat> Um, the first day. First day Literally the out. first day. Oh, my God. I was shouting and screaming and running around. Wow. Like, I come to, like, a rehearsal with the director. Yeah. And I come to her office, and we're, like, talking about the script. And we're doing a scene. And then all of a sudden, she's like, oh, and, you know, like, Steph Curry now came, you know, to, into the movie, and he's going to work with us. And I'm like, what? You mean work with us? What do you mean? Like, all, you, you know, like, like, if it's something normal. And I just, like, what? I couldn't rehearse. Like, she's like, okay, next scene. I'm like, no, I can't. I need a moment to, to process this. Um, I couldn't believe it. And Chrissy Mez was right next to me. She's like, what do you, was, cause, cause she's like, she was like, oh, if it was Adele for me, <laughs> cause, cause Chrissy's a big fan of Adele. But oh my God, that was crazy. It's pretty wild. And then I got to meet him. Oh my yeah. God. It's well, like, what do you it's do? like surreal. I can't yeah. even like How talk you, about it right now. Everybody that goes into that scenario where they're like, they're going to meet like their idol or they're, they're going to yeah. meet someone that they look up to. You tell yourself, be cool, be normal, act like this is a normal thing. And then and I tried and it was so awkward. Yeah. Oh my God. There's a video. There's a video of it. I literally like, okay, so what happened is that um, they, um, the partners of, of Steph, they wanted me to meet him. Um, and they're like, okay, he's in LA doing some press, playing against the Lakers and the Clippers. So, so let, let's get you guys together. And what they did is that they didn't tell him he was gonna meet me. They told him that um, they had like a surprise for him. They had a person um, and see if, if he knew who it was. Yeah. And they were like betting how long it was gonna take for him to notice. He like walked down the stairs two seconds. And he's like, yo, you're the kid from the movie. <laughs> And he like, I know, and I'm like, oh my God, yes, you're Steph Curry. Um, and he shook my hand, and right after he shook my hand, I literally turned away. It was so awkward. Like, I, I like put my back to him, and I didn't know what to do. He's like, what's up, man? And I'm like, I'm good, I'm good. But it was, it was cool. The, the best thing is that we just talked about life. We didn't even yeah. talk about the movie. We just talked about so what's going school, on, school life, school basketball, basketball, and and all that we've been doing, you know, with the with the process of the press, with the movie, and it's, it's that was an amazing experience. And then we got to to go and watch him at uh, the Lakers play the Warriors in L.A. And that's what's cool because we went with the whole cast, um, so that was really amazing. That's uh, that's on your YouTube channel, right? You did a <laughs> video of that, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was like, why do I know this story a little bit? I was like. Cause I saw yeah. you guys in the box on the YouTube channel. Yeah, whenever me and if you watch that YouTube video, oh my god, me and yeah, Chrissy, yeah. it's because whenever me and Chrissy are together, and her best friend Donnie, she like she'll take any word and make it into a song. So the whole game, we were just singing and dancing, and and it was late. We went down uh, after the game to the court to talk to Steph. So that was really cool. Pretty wild, man. It was a nice. What night. is your life right now, dude? That's crazy. <laughs> Right? That's pretty nuts. Yeah, I, I saw a cool thing, and I was talking to Chrissy. I was saying, like, last week or whatever it was, that you, you guys you really did click, and you got along really well. And she said that you were uh, teaching her Spanish and how to rap at one point. Uh, and <laughs> yeah, but I feel like she's so such a good rapper before pretty knowing good rapper, me. I don't yeah. know. She keeps saying that to be humble, but she, like, raps well. 
Uh, what <laughs> what did you try to learn from Chrissy? You know, Chrissy's also a phenomenal a yeah. actor and, and knows so much about uh, the the craft and the process and has done such a great job. You see her on This Is Us. She makes people cry yeah. every week. Were you trying to either by asking questions or just watching, just trying to yeah. learn from her? Like, while you're I mean, yeah, just just watching. It was so inspiring to be able to work with her just because, I mean, I heard about her story that be, on her way to the This Is Us audition, she didn't have enough money to to buy gas for the for the audition. Um, so, I mean, hearing that story and, and listening to how, how she came from nothing, she's been working her whole life and getting prepared for this moment. So that was so inspiring and how she treats everyone. I mean, it's yeah. it's how it should how she should treat everyone is it is how it should happen, but her setting that example is amazing. I mean, how she's so thankful for everyone that's working in the movie and and how she's prepared and gets into the character and is still so humble. And if I ever um, I'm struggling with any scenes. She's there to help. So she's really like a mom to me. So that's the best relationship I could ever get with Chrissy. You know, speaking of like learning from amazing people and having a chance to work with amazing people, uh, y you were on One Day at a Time for three seasons where a lot of us are still hoping for more and keeping our fingers crossed it'll find a new home and, and, and we'll get to see you guys again. But three seasons, still a lot of time that you got to spend yeah. I mean, with some incredibly talented people. Is there something that you think you learned from working on that show that made it uh, possible for you to be in this movie? Like yeah. Something that yeah. you picked up or got better at? Well, I mean... The family. Uh, for me, this this movie is so important because of, of family and how, how they unite and and uh, a community coming together. Um, it, it's so many people that are not part of the family. They become family in this in this film. And that's something that we would show in One Day at a Time. Um, Schneider, in the character Schneider in One Day at a Time, who was not part of the family, he became part of the family because that's how we are in the in the show and that's how we, we bring everyone into the family. So that was something that was really nice that not only we became a family in the show but also out of, outside of the show. And our chemistry was amazing on set. So it didn't really feel like work. It was just, you know, having fun playing around, but also, I mean, it was, you know, you had to be very disciplined on set, but also it was, we had such a great chemistry that, that it was so natural and, and real. And that's helped me for breakthrough a lot because I had to also show that in the movie and, and really portray um, John Smith's character in a way that you saw the process before the accident and how he changed after the accident. You know, John Smith, you, I, I read that you guys didn't get to meet uh, like your real-life counterparts yeah. until a couple of weeks into work on it. Did that, uh, how, do you feel, how did you feel about that at the time? Were you, were you comfortable with that idea of seeing him after you already started playing him? Or how did it feel when you guys first met? At the time, I, I was kind of like nervous because I didn't know if he, was, if he was happy with how I was portraying his character or how we were doing things at the time. But after I, I met him, um, it was perfect. It was the perfect moment to, to meet with him just because the time that we met with the family, it was like, for me, one of the most, we were shooting one of the most important scenes in the, in the film. So just meeting them and, and them showing us how comfortable and how, how much trust they had in us, it made me feel much more relaxed with my character. Um, also, we just talked about life. We didn't talk about the movie. Um, and a lot of people ask me, oh, did you ask him questions about the accident? Not, not really. Yeah, we just talked about life, and that would just come up um, eventually. So just getting to, to relate to him and having so many things in common, just becoming friends, it made it so much easier to get into the character to the point that, I mean, a month into shooting the film, I would get home and look myself in the mirror and, like, didn't recognize myself. I thought I was actually John Smith, and just because so many scenes were were shot through through how he went through it and and me being on actual ice and and struggling for each of those scenes like like we did so many different things and that's what I love about the movie that was one of the first scenes or the first scene yeah. that you shot was you on the ice right yeah god that must have been rough yeah <laughs> so i feel like that was the best for me honestly just because not i did struggle and i i it was hard but that's what made it feel like I was actually going through it. And I, that's what made it feel like, yeah, that I've, I was like, oh, my God, if, I'm, if this is hard for me, I couldn't imagine how, how hard it was for John at the moment. Did you have to get in the water, too? Did you do underwater yeah, stuff at all? Um, is that you on the poster? Or I is, guess, maybe, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Probably, yeah, maybe. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah. But, yeah, but you did have to, even if that's not you in the poster, you did have to get in the water and do some, some underwater yeah, stuff here um, and there. Is that scary? It was. It, yeah. it was. Um, just because, okay, so the first week of shooting, we went to the actual lake. Uh, we, we went, and it was a frozen lake. And 
they had like a hundred people on top of that ice with like cranes and stuff. And I was like, hold up, I don't want this to happen again. Um, and they're like, don't worry, there's six feet of ice. And I'm like, okay. Um, <laughs> so that, that got me a little nervous, but, but it was really cold. It was Winnipeg, Canada, negative nine degrees. And I was in a t-shirt and they had to wet me down with like cold water. It was hot water, but once it went like out of the bucket, it, was, it made it cold. Um, and I had to lay on the ice because that was like the scenes that we were doing because me and my friends were like, we're like running around on the ice before falling in and playing. So we did those scenes and then us like getting out wet. Um, and then a couple of weeks later, after we shot some other scenes, they built two tanks in like a, in like a play, plane hangar. Um, it was a five foot tank and then a 20 foot tank. And the, we were there for three days. And then the five foot tank, it was all the scenes where we, were, we had our heads over the water, and then the 20 foot tank was a whole like 12 hour day, me inside the water, like underwater going down. And Get all pruny? It was, oh my God. <laughs> they had to change my shirt like five times in one day just because it would turn brown and it was a white t shirt. And like at the end of the day, I couldn't open my eyes. Um, and just having Roxanne there, the director, yeah. and then my parents, it just, she's always so like calm that in the most like, like stressful moments of this film, Every day it was it was a challenge, yeah. and her having being there and being so calm and showing the actors that I feel like that made us feel more calm and that everything was gonna be all right. So, so oh my God, the everyone that worked on that on that water scene it was it was really impressive because I had um, stunt doubles there helping me and, and showing me how it was gonna happen. But yeah, I, I mean, I did I wanted to do everything myself and I wanted to go go down and up and the, so yeah, I, that whole day I only went out like of the water to eat and then went back in. That's wild, man. Well, ob it's obvious you worked really hard, but you had a lot of fun with everybody and you made you made a fantastic yeah. film. You should be very proud. We're going to take some questions from the audience in a second. We're going to go there just a moment. Uh, but I do want to remind everybody, the movie comes out tomorrow. You can see it over Easter weekend if you're busy or something during the week. But you should go see it. It's a really good movie. You're going to feel really good after you see it. And this kid did a damn good job in it. Uh, one last thing before we go over there. Uh, I, I got to ask, wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't. Is there like a group text thread? Or are you keep in touch with everybody from one day at a time? You yes. guys still talk and still chat? We, we have a group chat. I mean, it says the beginning of yeah. when we started. We've had a group chat. And it's so funny because Rita Moreno, I mean, she, she <laughs> like amazing. texts all the time. And it's so funny because like we have her as her contacts as Rita. We know what number that is. <laughs> but every time she sends a text, she'll send it like an email. She'll put like, dear, blah, blah. And then at the end, she'll always put Rita. And it's so cute. It's and best. so everyone is just, we're a real family. And it's just amazing um, staying, you know, communicated and, and knowing how much our writers and our showrunners haven't given up yet. And they keep fighting because, I mean, the show is amazing. And it's done so much for, for so many people and, and the Latino community. Um, and just being part of a show that, that so many people feel represented by it. Yeah. And it's had such an, a big impact in, in people's lives. Um, it's just so hard to let it go. So that's, it's like losing a family. Uh, it's rough to hear, but uh, uh, we're all hopeful, we're all optimistic, and people are still pushing for it, and fingers are crossed, and everybody's writing a lot of letters and stuff, because we do want to see more. You guys were great. That show, the, the beautiful part about it was it made so many people feel seen, and, and, and it tackled issues, too, yeah. uh, without any fear, and talked about real stuff that real families yeah. deal with, and, and there was a lot of great moments, a lot of intense moments that you had to play and like learn, and I, you know, I, I imagine you grew up and learned a lot just in those three seasons, just yeah. from all those people, man. Yeah. So. Well, fingers crossed, knock on wood, I'm sure it's going to come back. Uh, Luke, how many I got in the room? Two? I got two questions. All right, first one is, where's the microphone? Come on down. Hi. Hi. Um, so I was wondering, how much um, did you allow the true story behind this project to influence your process as an actor, and how much important was it to you to make this part your own? It was it was really important just because we had the family there um, and the story is based on on Joy Smith who is the mother of, of John Smith um, on her book. So for Devon Franklin who is the producer of this movie, it was it was really really important to portray this film as real as possible just because I feel like the the more relatable it is uh, this film and and the more the audience can relate to to every part of it, I feel like the more inspiring or emotional is going to be for the audience just because they're, they're watching and oh my god this happened in real life this is real everything that we're showing happened how it's, it's shown in the movie so for me watching it um the final version and, and knowing that everything happened in real life it's much more inspiring and it's 
is really relatable and, and it shows everyone that I mean you have a purpose in life people that might be lost or or think you know I, I'm I don't I don't know if anyone loves me which is how John felt in, in those moments of his life um, it's like everyone's there's always going to be someone there for you even if it's family or not and that's something that I feel like so many people that have gone and watched this movie say when they come out they they're like if, if this family did it I can do it too because it happened in real life Thank you. Thank you for your question. Luke, do I have another one? I got one more question. One more question. Oh, come on down. You have a microphone. How oh, perfect. Hi, we have an online question. Um, so what's something that you were able to take away from this movie, from it being just a really emotional story? Well, I didn't, I, I mean, I learned not only so much about acting, but also so much about life, just because, I mean, in acting, I, I've never done a character like this. I've never done, an, so in, in one day at a time, I was more like the comedic relief. So, so here's more dramatic character, and I, I did things that I didn't know I could, like crying. I've, I'm like, I tell everyone that I can't cry. Like, even though it's acting, I'm not gonna be able to do it. And at the end, um, I was able to do it. So things like that, being able to, to learn in acting and, and learn from, from all the talented cast that I worked with, um, it's something that I'll always take away from this film. and. And in life, just the story of, of John Smith and his family, she's amazing, of, of the, the power of love, the power of a mother's love, of a community coming together and never giving up. For me, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use that in my everyday life and just always see the happy moments and sad parts of life. That's a great Thank question. You. Thank you. Um, this is your first movie. You, did, you knocked it out of the freaking park, dude. You're so great in it. Uh, you know, and I'm sure you're focusing on acting right now, but you strike me as a very curious, very intelligent dude. When you're on set, are you looking around? Are you like, oh, maybe I'll direct. Oh, maybe I want to try this. Are you curious at all about some of the other stuff going on behind the scenes? Or are you laser focused on performance right now? No, I'm always, I'm always, I like to to multitask yeah, but I mean I was I was raised on a set my parents are filmmakers so I mean I've been used to this since I was little yeah. I was you've been watching I was since, since you I grew watch any so yeah I grew up kind of kind of used to this yeah. so when it came to the time when we moved to LA I was born in Puerto Rico and moved to LA when I was nine um, and I just did it for fun as a hobby just like playing basketball or other things it it came more naturally, and I, I already knew what to do. Um, so my parents, they've been my teachers for my whole life and, and acting. I've never like taken an acting class because of that. So so when I see my parents work, and and when I was little, that's how I started, just doing like commercials with them and stuff like that. It's it's the best because I, I learned so much about them. Um, and also it, it teaches me that maybe eventually I, I do want to try directing and and I, I know that I'll always have my parents there to teach me. So that's something that I'll, I'll probably try in the future and just other things that, that I love because acting gives me so many opportunities to, to also lead me to other passions that I have in life. Well, keep doing what you're doing, man. Thank uh, you. I'm really excited you were here for uh, to hang out with us today. Thank you for taking some time to come chill with us. Congratulations on this film. Let me remind the world once again. Breakthrough, you can see it starting tomorrow. It's a perfect time. Easter weekend. Get out there, take the family, go see this movie and feel good. One Day at a Time is on Netflix. Keep tweeting, keep writing. Let's get it back. Uh, and while we're doing stuff together, make a ridiculous amount of noise and join me in thanking the great Marcel Ruiz for being here. Come on, everybody. Do it up. Thank you.